Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Mo the Pug, and I'm going to do a quick airsoft review on the KWA USP. There's the box, all traded out and everything. Gun. It's a gas blowback metal and polymer pistol uh, made by KWA. It sells on Evike for exactly $150. Or, you know, kind of said that on the box already, but oh well. Uh, it's magazine, which is made of metal except for the polymer base plate. Holds 25 rounds of uh, 6mm BB. It's recommended that you use .2s or heavier. Now, the metal part on this gun is the magazine. Trigger. Magazine release. Slide. Slide catch. Safety. Hammer. I think it's the inner barrel and various internals. The polymer parts are the lower frame and the barrel. Take that part. The outer barrel is made of polymer, like I said earlier. And this is a gas blowback pistol. So every time you pull the trigger, you know, it blows back and cycle around. Uh, this gun shoots at exactly 340 FPS. It's pretty powerful. Uh, it actually shoots harder than my rifle, my G and GM14, which is shooting at 320. So, what are you gonna do? This gun's really reliable. When I first got it, I actually dropped it down a flight of concrete stairs, which kind of messed up the uh, barrel. As you can see there, it's kind of raised and bumped and beaten. And I'm the second owner of this gun, also. So this gun's seen better days. Uh, it's trademarked everywhere, and being you know, stupid kid that I am, I had to just detail the trademarks. So as you saw in one of my previous videos, you know, the USPs on there, and then I also did the barrel, the ones on the barrel too. I thought that was pretty cool. And then I butchered the ones on the bottom. But, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, this gun, like I said, is really reliable, really robust, really powerful, and very accurate. Uh, KWA, I'm not sure if they still make this pistol. I knew they lost licensing to it uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, it's pretty simple. You know, it's a simple gun. It works. And, yeah, it's really accurate. Also, what we got here... That. It doesn't fit. At all. Well, to an extent. You have to, like, crank it down on there, and even then, you know, what's the use? You know, 15 bucks in my local airsoft shop. Not the end of the world, so. There goes that. Um, you should get this pistol, you know, if you have a chance. It's really traded out, so it looks cool. It's really hard-kicking. Beautiful-looking gun, you know, without my stupid crayon etchings. Um, yeah, it holds 25 rounds, you know, 24 in the mag plus 1 in the chamber. It has something that most pistols don't have, is the uh, safety decock switch. You know, it actually puts it in safe sometimes, you can bounce it in the safe. Anyway, uh, once the hammer's cocked and you don't want to fire, if you just want to keep it in your holster, much like on the SIG P226 and the real steel uh, USP, just push the slide down. Um, which puts the pistol at a half cock. So you can just draw it from your holster. You know, it's single and double action. And yeah, that's kind of a quick overview slash review of the KWA USB. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm Mo the Pug, signing off.